called A Strange Animal. A strange animal. Do it look like one? <laughs> I have a question for you. If you had to if you had to think of your life in one word, what would you how would you describe your life? In one word. What kind of words would you use? Roller coaster. Roller coaster. <laughs> nice. Well <Grapple. laughs> <laughs> with it, excellent. Alright. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, today I would like to talk about my journey. My journey is going to lead to me being a strange animal. 20 years it's been since I spent a Labor Day weekend in Canada. Where have I been? I've been in South Korea, but to get to South Korea and then to return from South Korea, it's, uh, it's been an interesting journey. I grew up in a small town in northern Alberta. Have you guys heard of Grand Prairie? Yeah. <laughs> All right, an hour north of there. Have you heard of Spear River? <laughs> Spear River? Smaller yet, have you heard of a town called Woking? The population of that town doubles when school is in session. <laughs> and for me to get to that town was about a 16 kilometer drive. If I wanted to buy gum, it was 32 kilometers round trip. I'm a small <laughs> town boy. All right? And so my journey pretty much begins there. But it didn't begin on a happy note. My journey began at a very young age, my parents passed away. All right? And so, parents passing away, how do you think that affects life? Pretty much. I was lucky, though. My oldest sister was married the year that I was born. She's 18 years older than me. She was married at 18, after high school, got married. You know, this was a few years back, correct? Right? <coughs> And so that's normal. And so, me being a strange animal, this becomes, I was the fourth of four children from my parents, but I was raised the oldest of four children. My sister had three younger than me, right? Strange animal, there's lots of contrast in my life. And so, this concept of strangeness, this concept of contrast, it seemed to continue throughout my life. When I got to university, nice degree, education, many engineers here, but education, I studied five years to get my education degree, then teaching in Rocky Mountain House, teaching in a small town in Worsley, up northern Alberta again, Guess what? I found out I don't like teaching children. <laughs> and so I was given an opportunity. I had an opportunity. Work in Fort McMurray at Keanu College or go to Korea. I was 25 years old. I was going, okay, let's try this. 25 years old, they offered me a plane ticket, a house, and spending money. Adventure, right? Okay, and guess what? In Canada, I was a math teacher. <laughs> I was just about to begin a journey in Korea teaching English. All right? This journey of teaching English led me to actually become a professional writer. I spent over 15 years teaching researchers how to publish journal papers, many engineers, okay? Math teacher. All of my life, I was told, I can't write, I can't write. John, you can't write. Here I am, teaching writing, teaching research writing skills to graduate students and researchers. How did that happen? 
my writing skills improved when I gave up handwriting, and now <laughs> I only type. People can read what I'm doing. All right? Today, just a short introduction, and so talking a little bit about my life, talking about uh, my background, where I come from, I thought I was going to Korea for a year. I ended up going with two suitcases <laughs> and coming back with a wife, two children, a dog, <laughs> and an apartment full of everything. All right? This concept of my life being a journey. I started in a very small town. I've lived in very large cities. Okay? I've now come back to Canada. This journey continues. I'm a strange animal. My journey has led me to looking like most people in Canada. I sound like I'm from here. I look like I'm from here. But I've also spent 20 years in Korea. Coming back to Canada has been difficult. It's been a process. It's been a journey. And so, this is where my life continues. I've been grappling with many ideas, but it's an exciting time. Thank you.